Uh, this was an interesting picture that came out that talked about the different cathode materials and how they're going to apply to the different products that Tesla is going to make. They glossed over this in the presentation, or at least they went fast, and I understand why, but this car that is underneath the, the that is hidden here, Elon later said this is going to be a $25,000 car with autonomy, with uh, uh, autonomy. Yeah, I, my- it, they're not saying you're going to get the autonomous software with it. It'll have the okay. autonomous hardware. You're going to have to pay 25 grand more if you want it to drive itself for sure. Okay. Yeah. Because I, is... I noticed a lot of the media and it's not like they weren't trying to say it's going to be autonomy too, but I just wanted to clear that up. But yeah. Oh, p- please do. That was my, that was the confusion. So, so he was saying uh, what he meant to say or the interpretation that he gave was a $25,000 car with the hardware built in, but not because right yeah. now and autonomy I think for... costs $8,000 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And for Tesla fans, I mean, this is this is in line with what the game plan's been from day one. You know, the Model 3, we're starting at that 35 to like 38 for Model 3 and Y. But then you got to pay, you know, the 8,000 autonomy, you can get your features. But the real true, the next class of that is bringing that starting price down to 25. And then you'll have your features and whatever. But it's really that that incremental step down in the base price that will get them even below that luxury segment into that mass market segment. And then you take into account the savings of ownership of decreased, you know, it's way cheaper to charge it up than oil. That $25,000 Tesla is really comparable to an 18 or $19,000 ice car, you know, regardless of, you know, that ice car is not going to have autonomy. But then if you want, you can pay 25 grand and get autonomy and maybe it's a 50 or $60,000 total car that can drive itself around and generate hundreds of thousands of revenue per year. It's going to be this crazy uh, product. But uh, the other the key thing on that chart that I think is a lot of people, I'll just jump into the whether with which if Tesla's going to make that sell for that $25,000 car, because that's something a lot of uh, people were questioning. And I actually just got a- off the phone with Tesla's best relations, kind of trying to clarify this for you guys um, and for my own knowledge. But like, Tesla wants to do all their battery cells in house. And I know they get iron phosphate cells from CATL for their cars in China. And so some people are like, oh, are they going to use these third party cells for the Model 2? But no, I think it is going to be the 4680 and they will build it with that iron cathode. They're going to start the 4680 cell with nickel, uh, higher expensive for the semi-truck and cyber-truck. But over time, fast forward to 2023, 2024, they're going to be using that 4680 cell with the nickel magazines, with the nickel, and with the iron, just like that slide you showed for their different products. But I think you, they're just going to start with uh, Plaid Model S, the, you know, the first cars that are getting these batteries, and those that's coming out of the Fremont production line, maybe Roadster. And then... The, what the real magic is, is they're going to build all, they're going to take all of these learnings from this trial battery line and build them as part of that Austin factory for the semi and cyber truck. And that'll be where the rubber meets the road. And we're like, all right, like, let's see how good these batteries are. Let's see how many you can build. It's totally new, you know? Yeah, that's, that's great color. And what you just said there, I, I mean, again, Tesla shareholder, Tesla bull, my, uh, my immediate thought was if I was on the fence of buying a Model 3. And I now know in three years time, there's a $25,000 uh, Tesla waiting in the wing with full autonomy. Why on earth would I pay 60 or 70 grand today? So if, if, if what you said is, is, is accurate, and I have no doubt that it is, that the car will cost 25, but if you want autonomy, it's gonna be money on top of that. That's a message that, again, even me as a bull that watched the entire thing did not get. So there needs to be some education to educate the market after that to stop the Osborne effect. That's a major question that I had as a takeaway from there. So do you think, I mean, what, 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 what should Tesla do as follow-up to make sure that people aren't confused like I was? You know, yeah. And I'm like, i have like, maybe I'm a little guilty for this too. Cause I put that in my video, like the 25 K Tesla. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't think it's, a big deal at the end of the day. I think it's kind of a new thing, you know, no other car comes with a brain that can actually drive itself that people actually care about. Like, yeah, you can talk about GM Super Cruise and Cadillac Super Cruise and Subaru's Cruise Control, but nobody cares about it. Nobody's getting pumped at it. Nobody's paying an extra eight grand per car for that. You know, Tesla's the only company on the planet that's introduced this new software brain that people actually are dying to get. The attachment rate's like 30 to 40% or something. And, and it's only going to go up and up in price. And so this is a very new thing for the entire automotive industry. It's why Tesla's uh, gross margins are going to be structurally so much higher than every automaker we've seen in history. That's why their valuation makes no sense to traditional analysts because they don't get this. Um, and I think that's, it, and this is all a symptom of like, you know, the media and Tesla trying to communicate this new thing. They're like, yo, we got the car to 25K and you know, and they're all excited about that from the hardware perspective. And they don't realize that people are getting confused about the autopilot, but 
you know, at the end of the day, I think it's just a symptom of how new and disruptive Tesla is and the car is becoming a computer on wheels and the software brain of the car is worth just as much as the nuts and bolts and the steel.